VirtualBox is an alternative to using VMware or uh, where in the old days you would use uh, virtual PC. It allows 64-bit operating systems and other things, and especially for testing uh, 2013 and other uh, more advanced NAV features. It's a great product because it also performs uh, very well. So uh, I've already downloaded the virtual box here. So uh, I'll just go through the install and it's one of those simple ones. It's just like those next, next, next. It will give you a warning here that it actually will shut down the network interface for a short second. It's not different than what virtual PC did. Uh, it's just if you're running a live environment, you have to be careful that it actually will uh, stop other machines to actually have access to the internet. So it's really only for production purposes. So, uh, but I'm basically finished um, installing it. So it was a very, very simple process. The next thing I want to show here is actually how to install a Windows 7 uh, inside this one. So I'll create a new computer here. And uh, I'll just call this one Windows 7. And it's based on my text automatically figured out that it was actually going to be Windows 7 down here. So that's fine. But that's important because uh, selecting the right type down here is going to have the supporting software installed as driver inside the operating system. So if you're installing 2008 or uh, Windows 8 or something like that one, remember to pick the right uh, version down here of Windows. It also supports Linux and all kinds of other things in here. So, but uh, I'll just say next, and I want a little more memory than this one, so I'll use uh, 4 gig. You create a virtual drive, and it actually share the VHD format that is the same as um, virtual PC uses, and, and also Hyper-V. Um, but I'll just use the internal format. Uh, I don't think there's much difference in speed. Um, but I guess the internal format is the best supported. So uh, I had a 25 gig default down here. Since I'm going to install NAV and all kinds of things in here, I'm actually going to bump this up uh, to uh, a little more, to 40 gigabyte in here, as being my hard drive. And um, it uh, will create this one. My E drive is actually, in this case, it's a solid state drive, and that's why I already configured it earlier to use as my default. We go in and say yes and create this one. Before I start the installations, one thing I'm going to do in here is actually change my amount of processes because it's going to install Windows a lot faster if I actually give it more CPUs in here. This one is a pretty uh, powerful computer. It's a Core i7 uh, and is actually running uh, at a higher speed than what it uh, nominal is. So it's running 4.2 gigahertz and it has uh, eight threads and uh, four cores in here. So, but I'm just going to give this computer four. Um, I'm now ready to start my installation. The next thing I have to do is select my uh, image and I have a Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 in here. That's a download from uh, TechNet from Microsoft that I have this uh, ISO file from. So I go ahead and open that one. And then I'll just start the install in here. And uh, there's only a few things I will need to do to actually get this uh, fully installed. Oh, uh, during this install process. And uh, it's fine. I want to install it now. Until you install the virtual box additions in here, the mouse can be a little sluggish, especially if you're on a remote desktop environment in here. So, but I just want to see it's my 40 gig hard drive. I'll just click next, and now it's uh, expanding the Windows files.
the first percent here takes uh, a little longer. Uh, The total process of installing windows in here is probably going to be uh, six, seven minutes in uh, total. But I'm going to remove some of uh, this recording here. If I look at uh, one of the reasons this computer is so fast as it is, um, it's running a Core i7, uh, the 26K unlock version. And is actually has been uh, slightly overclocked. So it's currently on 4.2 gigahertz down here. Um, so that's a process of speed. This one works fine also on a laptop. It just won't get this tremendously fast uh, speed that this one has. This computer has uh, two solid state drives in it also. So it has a solid state C drive on 64 gigabyte as a second solid state drive also uh, on 64 gigabyte, and uh, if I go take a look at it here, I will have um, my C drive and my E drive with solid states, and then I have a two terabyte uh, drive in here. It's a motherboard that already comes with um, graphic cards and a 16 gig of RAM in here, so um, this computer. Uh, cost less than thousand dollars actually to buy and assemble from uh, parts and it's extremely powerful for running uh, virtual box or, or any testing with the 2009 and 2013 of NAV. It now finished the first part where it actually copied all the files. It's now completing the installation here of uh, Windows 7 and uh, I'll be able to soon type in the computer name and then uh, install the virtual box additions that will make the drivers and windows work. The really good thing about the virtual box is that it's completely free. Uh, it even works on multiple versions, so uh, if you had a Linux server, you could actually uh, also run VirtualBox, same environment uh, as it is here. So uh, it's now booting uh, Windows for the first time for real after installing it. So, I'll put in the username. I'll just call this one. Uh, Windows 7. I have to type in a password. And a hint. It's the same password, of course. Um, I don't need to put in a Windows key, and since it's so fast to install, I would just blow away this one when Windows actually, after a month, won't work any longer. It's all for testing anyway. I use the recommended setting. I'll go select Eastern Time Zone here. And my network is a work network, and it's now. Um, finished and it's inside um, Windows 7 and it's installed. Now of course you need to run the Windows update also, but before I do anything else, I'm going to install the VirtualBox edition that makes the mouse work a lot better and uh, seamless uh, resizing of the screen and things like that. So I'll install what is called guest editions down here. take a few seconds before it shows up, but I basically put in a CD in the CD-ROM drive for this virtual box, and then uh, it will run the software from the CD.
It's a little busy here since it's just finished installing Windows, I guess. So I want to run the VirtualBox Windows editions. And that's fine. And I'll just check this one that I want to trust it all the time. So in future updates of uh, VirtualBox, I don't have to uh, check that I want to run it here. And uh, that was uh, installing the VirtualBox editions in here. So I'll go ahead and reboot. So I'm now in uh, Windows, and of course I could choose another drive in here. Uh, I'm just going to remove that one because I don't need the virtual box. One of the really nice things in here is that it's completely seamless to switch uh, between full screen and uh, windowed mode. And like you used to with remote desktop, you actually have uh, an option down here to attach devices and all kinds of things. So it, uh, but it completely disappears during the demo. So you can't see that you're actually running a virtual environment in here. All the issues that existed with VirtualBox being able to resize, or virtual PC being able to resize property, it absolutely don't exist with uh, VirtualBox. You can just drag the window, it's going to look nice. You can always go uh, full screen uh, and it will just completely um, cover your screen, so even if you connect it to a projector, it works uh, perfectly fine in here. So uh, you can always get back, of course, to the windowed mode. And uh, it's running very, very fast in here. So uh, this virtual box here can also be shared. So if I look at my drive here, I have in my virtual box folder, I have a couple of files in here. And this one is really the virtual drive, and that's where everything is in. So you can share that with other people that can set up their own hardware around it, matching maybe their laptop and so on. But it's a very, very powerful system in here, um, the virtual box. And it's completely free. Uh, it don't require anything else. Then you have a decent laptop that runs 64-bit OS, uh, and then you can install 64-bit uh, operating system uh, and get very, very good performance.